Greetings from Chirac, Illinois. Armored cars safely transported both teams to Mercenary Field today, shielding them from a flurry of gunfire and the infamous Polish Grandma Gang's bombardment of sausages, hot dogs, and pizzas. What a way to get ready for kickoff. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Insane Colts go up against the Midway Mutants. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs! Mutants I'd like to fuck! He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Oh! I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime MILF lingerie girls team! What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all! Ho-ho! Va-va-va-voom! And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking. One speed engage. What are you trying to replace your nerd fan base to bring him into the game? I'm a high-scale civil. I am a hell of a fellow. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And they'll line up for the punt here. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Third down and five. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he picks up about six on the play. <laughs> and that'll be second down and four. He wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third and four. on that play. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and a sliver. 
I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for some. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Briggs. Kind of like Grant Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Killer, it was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Third down and long. Blasted and picks up seven yards right there. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a lot. He's not going down. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First and ten. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth. What? The book house pick up girls and tell them something unique about yourself. That's unique. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Oh, with a brutal hit. First and ten. Man, what a hit that was! Second down and a lot. That ball was almost intercepted. Third down and, well, good luck. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. First down. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. First down to seven. He picks up five on that play. Second down and two. He dropped it. He does that again. They'll drop him. Third and two. than the baby resulting from an orcish family reunion. You know what they say, sometimes the best offense is a chainsaw. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown.
And they line up for the extra point. Certainly left skid marks. Third down at eight. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good return here. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. There was an explosion, but everyone's walking away from it. Them cool guys always walk away from explosions. Hey, that might be good for the movies, but it's awful for the MFL. And then Cats will give them a first down. It's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room straight through the uprights when you give up points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. 
what? They kicked the kid in half? They just be called it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. That's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. And that takes us to the two minute warning. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, man. The greatest, the greatest, I tell you. <laughs> the defense calls timeout. He must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Hot one, hot two. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Mark, man, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snags the punt and looks... You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Picks up two yards on the pass. And this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Third down and nine. Six-yard gain. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this. Nice catch, and it turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. We're back for the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. Why the game is this close as the score indicates? <laughs> Side kicks the desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever.
And it's first and ten. Second down and a very lot. So much for the bombs way dirty trick on that play. Didn't fool the defense for a second. Third down and long. to the air and came up big. <laughs> well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. A misfired punt will give the opposing team great field position. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a conference at home. And it's first and ten. Nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. First down. He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Eight. the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Second down and a mile. Defense goes for speed. Man, that defender just turned on his jets. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. Harder than that, and that is unfortunate. Second down and six. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a devastating hit, knocks the ball loose. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 40, the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a donut guy than a speed feed grip. He's running from his team. Come on, get him out of here. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. I'm pretty sure my baby sister 
Monster can throw further than that. But she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. And it'll be second and eight to go. He had it for a second there. Third down and eight. They get their hands up and block the pass. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Quick pass picks up maybe two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Third down and a pussy here. Oh, oh, oh. That gets me every time. Like a jack in a box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow. You just crack your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here. Second down and nine. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. First down and long, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> the offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. Steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And the defense gave.
gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. About a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night and locked up for solicitation. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. Catch that. Second down and ten. And that is caught for a first down. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And that pass play is good for eight yards. And that'll bring up second and one. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! With kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. He'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. First and ten. Second down and long. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. Oh, and that kick to his highlight reel. That was perfect. And since he's a kicker, that brings him up to a one-hole highlight. And it's first and ten. Just like my wedding night, there was a big explosion. But then everyone left disappointed. Everyone? You had more than two people in the room? Yeah, the guy filled it in the clown. Somebody's got to make the balloon animals. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. <laughs> Not gonna drop that one. They need to make him a target. 
bit more often. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. First down and three. The receiver didn't stand a chance. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. shot extra point but you never know with kickers <laughs> it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell the outside kicks the desperation play but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position steal it. the four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down i'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident <laughs> He'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. is leaving the team with just one timeout. So they better bring the ball back gift-wrapped. Is it time for a ribbon or a ball grin? Maybe if they use their last timeout. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. The defense calls their last timeout. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Bricks? Eh, just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? Drugs. <laughs> and they'll line up for the punt here. 
And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, holy crap! He runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. From the mutants walk away defeated. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.